Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today is just some kind of quick hints about the align palette, which can really help you when pretty much doing anything in Illustrator uh, and InDesign. It acts kind of the same way in InDesign. Um, a lot of people, when they're first, or at least a lot of newer hires that I've seen, tend to not even really know it exists at all. But if you do know it exists, but maybe don't use it as much as you should, here are some things uh, about the Align palette which can be really quite helpful. Um, like if I wanted to take these three items and space them out uh, perfectly, easiest way to do that is just make sure that they're grouped because you've got, um, if you don't have them grouped, it's going to do it per object. But if you grab all three and hit the Distribute Spacing, it'll space them out 100% evenly by the math of how big your document is and put this one right to the top, that one right to the bottom, and this one exactly in the center. Um, and the reason it's doing that is because in the corner here we've got a line to set to artboard which will make it apply to the entire um, artboard and in InDesign that's actually called a line to page. But if I just wanted to space them evenly within themselves you can just switch that from to selection and then if you do distribute spacing, what it's going to do is leave the top one alone, the bottom one alone, and then space the middle one between the two. Uh, a lot of times this is also helpful for when you're laying um, objects out on a page, like say in this instance if I was presenting logos or something and I wanted to put all three on the page evenly. If you create a dummy object up above the page uh, and a dummy object down below the page and then grab all of those and do distribute spacing, it's going to space this one the same distance from the top as it is from the one in the center here. Um, and this way you don't have to worry about you know how high does it go and trying to figure all that out. And these same tips apply for when you're distributing horizontal space. Uh, just draw, draw a fake object over here and a dummy object over here uh, and do it that way. Um, and a lot of times too when people use the align palette they don't realize that these options are here and that you know can mess you up so if you're trying to do something and you're hitting align and it just keeps doing like this and you're like no I want it to go to the side of the page it's because you don't have uh, align to artboard checked so really um, once you get to know these tools better they'll become more second hand to use them um, but really just knowing that there's a difference between the selection and the artboard when flipping between these or between the selection and the page when you use them uh, will make this tool way more powerful and you'll find yourself using it all the time. So if you have any questions, just shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever, and hope those helpful.